Hi friends, I'm Brooke from Start at Home and today I'm going to take this coffee table that I was going to get rid of anyway and repurpose it and make it so that it goes with the decor of my home. And to do that, I'm going to use these dowels. Let's get to work. To start out, I removed the base of the table from the top. Then I used my miter saw to cut out a new base for the table. Then I used my nailer to attach the bottom and top of the frame. If you don't have a framing nailer, screws will work just as good. I used my Craig jig to make pocket holes. Then I used glue and the pocket holes to connect the top and the bottom of the frame. To attach the base to the top, I used screws in the middle and two inch long finish nails on the sides. Next, I pulled out my circular saw and Craig jig to rip down this fourth inch thick plywood. Then I placed it around the frame. This will make it much easier to attach the dowels. To get a nice clean edge on the bottom, I added one and a fourth inch thick pine all the way around. For a fun fluted look, I'm adding five sixteenth inch dowels all the way around the base of the coffee table. To secure the dowels, I'm using my pin nailer with three quarter inch nails so I don't have to go back and fill holes. Originally, I was going to leave the top a dark stain and paint the bottom, but I wasn't filling the two-tone look, so I used 80 grit sandpaper to sand the top down. Once the top was sanded down, I went back over it with 220 grit sandpaper to smooth it all out. I then applied a pre-stain. This helps the stain to go on even. I let the pre-stain sit for about 15 minutes, then I applied aged walnut stain by Minwax to the entire piece. I have found it easiest to apply my stain with a chip brush and then go back over it with a white rag to remove any excess. To top it off, I applied four coats of a clear matte top coat in a spray can. I find I get a better finish with a spray can. Now this coffee table is ready to be used. I love the textures the dowels add. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for weekly DIYs and I will link all sources used in this video below.